so my sister lives in Phoenix. Your brother lives in Phoenix. Flagstaff, yeah. Well, same yeah Arizona. Thing. Arizona. Yeah, same thing. It's all hot. Sail desert critters, and absolutely. Stuff. So they have scorpions in their house. Yes. And they use these uh, black lights because I guess they glow. And early in the morning, I mean, when my brother-in-law gets up, Ugh, there have been no. a number of times he'll go out of the hallway and there are scorpions in the hallway. I remember even in Utah once, we had a scorpion in our house when I was in sixth grade. I remember it very well. My best friend Trent was over. But fast forward to a while ago, my sister was taking a nap. She has twin boys, so she's tired, right? Taking a nap. And her husband gently was like, Heather, honey. Don't move. Don't move. Stay calm. Stay very still. You have a scorpion on your face. What? On her face? On her face. On her cheek. No. Yes. No. It's no, true. No, I would have gone into serious arrest. Mode. I know. No. But I think it's the startle factor, right? So whether it's a spider, I told you our rental in Galveston <sighs> over Memorial Day, there was a spider like running across the bed when I took a nap one day. Yeah. So it's just the element of surprise that you're in bed, you don't want a critter showing up there next to you. No, you don't. And yet, when I was talking about this on Facebook yesterday, someone said, um, you know, better than a cockroach or a spider. Can't handle. I said, listen, lizard, cockroach, spider. It's like the holy trinity for me. <laughs> I cannot handle it. I, I know, but I feel like I'm tough. You know, I'm tough. Can't deal with those until she sees a lizard. Yeah, hear a scream. <laughs>